Hi guys, today I want to talk about Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alera Sines, and I am so happy to say that I finally read this book. This is one of my like shameful books that I had on my shelf for far too long and I looked at it all the time and I, I just knew that I was going to love this book but I just never picked it up and I just have always it's always bugged me that I have it and I finally just like day before yesterday I was like it's time and I set this on my nightstand yesterday was my day off and so I woke up I laid in bed for like two hours or something, read like half of this book, and then went about my day, I thought about these amazing characters, and then at the end of the day, got back in bed and I finished this book. So I read it all in one day, fantastic. I need to talk about this book with you guys. So if you have never heard of this book, it is a contemporary, it's sort of like a coming of age story about two boys, um, I believe when this book starts, they're about 15 years old, and it's about Dante and Aristotle, and he likes to be called Airy. And they're very different boys. Um, this is also said in the 80s, by the way, so I really like that. There's no like texting and stuff. They either call the landline or they stop by each other's house. Um, it starts in the summertime, so I really, really like that. It goes through like one school year and then it finishes in the next summertime. It's two different, two totally different boys that at the very beginning of the book, they meet at a swimming pool and Dante teaches Airy how to swim. And their friendship just blooms from there and it's such a beautiful thing. Dante Dante is very open and he talks a lot and he questions everything and I just loved well really both of their like unique outlooks on life and how they question everything they definitely analyze a lot of things and at times overthink things but um, it was very fun to read through them and Dante really puts himself out there and he really just lives a life to the fullest all the time um, he has amazing parents and I'll get to them again in a second. Aries is a lot different than Dante, and while Dante puts himself out there, he kind of learned from his parents, sadly, to really bottle things up and to really not to let a lot of like emotions and feelings out. And it's sad, it's really sad, but there's a few times in this book where like something sad would happen and Dante would let it out and Dante would cry. And Aries would just stand there like he had no tears inside of him, like he, would say that you know why did some people cry and some people don't and like he was just really a pro pretty much at just bottling everything up so um anyways i loved this book so much one of my favorite things about this book was how the parents were such a big part of this story i guess uh really there's the i mean the main focus of the story is just aristotle and dante and their friendship and um them just growing up and stuff and so really both neither of them have a lot of friends like no other friends Aerie has no other friends so um it was really i just i loved their parents and both of them both sets were just so understanding about basically everything and so accepting about everything and just like i know Aerie and his father have a bit of like a kind of tent not tense relationship but um, his father was in the war and he's very, he it really changed him and he's like pretty closed off. He doesn't talk to Ari a lot uh, and Ari doesn't talk to him a lot. But like I love the relationship between Ari and his mom and just, I don't know, when she's talking about like, he's saying that, you know, she's so strict and uh, he's like, you know, mom, someday I'm going to have to break some of your rules. And she's like, I know, but please do it behind my back, will you? And like, just that whole dynamic and then Dante was such a smart aleck and I loved his parents were so amazing and oh just everything I loved his parents so much I love the humor in this book they were Dante is so funny and the whole I think one of my favorite scenes of the whole book is just like Dante's aversion to shoes just cracked me up I don't I just thought it was so funny when they he invents that game to just basically destroy his shoes it was the best that's like my favorite part of the book I think I don't want to say that much else I just want you guys to read this book if you haven't yet it was so good I already mentioned just like Dante and Aries like unique outlook on everything and I just I love that and it really actually reminded me of another contemporary it happened to be one of my all-time favorite contemporaries, I'll Give You the Sun. Uh, Dante reminds me a lot of Noah, and it's quite the compliment because Noah is one of my favorite characters ever. Uh, but by the way, if you haven't read this book yet and you loved this book, 
definitely you need to read this book. I am pretty sure you're gonna love this one as well. I for sure did. Another book I would say is if you had read The Perks of Being a Wallflower, I, I would say you'd also probably really, really like this. But that's all I'm gonna say today. If you guys have read this book, a lot of you probably have because, I mean, like I said, this is not a brand new book, then definitely talk about it in the comments. I wanna talk to you guys about this book. Also, second thing is the sequel is coming out and oh gosh, I'm so excited. I think he's currently writing it, so I have no idea how long it's gonna be before it's out. Could be, I'm hoping like 2017, but I don't know, we'll just have to see. I think I read it's called like There'll Be More Summers or something close to that, but I am so ready for it. It's supposed to just pick up right where this book left off. And yes, I'm so ready for it. But anyways, I definitely am excited to talk to you guys about this book in the comments. Um, let me know if you guys have any like book recommendations for me or if you guys have any like video recommendations, like something you would like to see from me. I will have a book haul up very soon because I've just received some new books. Um, and yeah, so I hope I will see you guys again very soon. Until next time, goodbye.